So this is a SICS for training and education purposes. I'm going to do it slowly, show you these steps in a slow manner so that the new surgeons can follow it in a better way. This plastic grip should be placed in such a way that the eyelashes are nicely covered. And this is uh, ocular surface irrigation with VSS. The eyeball is tilted upward. Sometimes it happens with periverbal block. So I am placing a superior rectus brittle suture. For that, the eyeball is turned down by this muscle hook. The superior active tendon is held nicely. And a thick suture is passed under the tendon. Now the eyeball is stable and peritomy, tunnel making, all those steps will be very easy or not so easy but uh, it will be easier in comparison to if the superior brittle suture is not applied. And now peritomy of conjunctiva from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock. The tenants and conjunctiva are being taken together and this is the peritomy. Now this is white field quarterly. Very mild quarterly is being done. Just touch over the blood vessels and come. This is a uh, hard cat pack, so you should make the wound size about 7 mm. This is 7 mm. So we will start from here and end here. So this is an incision with a 50 number plate. Now this level from here to here, this level <coughs> is placed from one end to the other end so that we get the right plane for making the sclerocorneal tunnel.
and now we have to start making the tunnel. I start at the middle, the sweeping motion, go into clear cornea and then come back. This kind of motion. Go forward and come back to the left side. And now from here to the right side, we will turn like this. <coughs> now we release the superior rectus middle suture. This is the left eye of the patient and I am finding it difficult to make the side put with lens tip knife. So I am using the keratome. We will introduce half of the keratome and we will get an adequate sized side put. This should be okay. This air bubble and place dry under the air bubble. This is adrenaline. Yes, wash the dye. and fill up the anterior chamber with this one. Now we will try to do a rexis with this cystitum, the bend needle, 26 cos bend needle goes through side port. at the middle of this tunnel to go to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and make an entry of 2.8 mm. So intumescent in cataract and there is a risk of excess runout. So what I am doing is I'm going to do some decompression of the capsular band. That means I am going to aspirate some cortex. Center as you can that So now I fill up the AC with this core. Take a one scissor, make a cut. And 
now hold this tab and do a adequate size press. इस कदम के लिए इस कदम के लिए तीन दिन पूरा टनल ओपन करते हैं। Now we are going to open the tunnel. Again we have to go in the empty chamber and now go to the left side and cut with forward movements. Engage at the side and cut with forward movement. Engage on the right side and cut with forward movements. Now we have to prolapse this large nucleus through this uh, opening. Let us see if it comes out easily. Otherwise we have to make some radial cuts. We go with two hooks, push the nucleus down, get on and up, and one hook is below the nucleus, the other one is dialing it, and it comes up. We are getting like this. Now injecting visco in front of the nucleus and behind the nucleus. And this is an irrigating vectis. It is attached to a drip set. And I don't have to push the fluid through the syringe. So my hand is more stable. Now I'm going to deliver the nucleus. Hold the superior rectus tendon. Go behind the nucleus and this color. We push it from behind, let us see if it comes out. Yes, it has come out. some BSS in the interior chamber. This, uh, there's some chunk of the nucleus, uh, some part of nucleus. We to express it out with the help of disco. Disco this side, disco on the other side. Now press the posterior lip and it comes out. And now this. 
Entonces... Soft side foot cortex is removed. And now I go through the side foot and remove the cortex from all around. Nice cleaning of cortex. You love to do Get her on the right to go to the second one. This is correct to go to the second one. I'm now going to implant the lens before that. This is. Filling out of the anterior chamber and bed with the whisker. Mm -hmm. Since we have a large zone, uh, I'm going to place this lens. This is a Liberty lens from Upper Sunny Associates. तुम ऊपर तक अनुच्छेद चेष्टा करो ना, बोलूँ नीचे तक अनुच्छेद एक ही चेष्टा करो, ऊपर तक अनुच्छेद चेष्टा करो तो कास्टर जोटी लगेगा अच्छे तक। Now we have to remove the visco that we have used. Okay, the whole machine को ना तो तू साथ इसका वॉश कर दो। आरु आरु तू भी चेष्टा करना। Sometimes the oculus surface is, uh, we have a thick layer of visco, so we have to irrigate the ocular surface nicely to remove that layer of visco. Uh, PMMA lens, nicely centered in the capsular band. we had a stuck uh, nucleus at the incision, we placed it from behind, pushed it from behind through the side port to the Sinsky hook, and then rolled the nucleus out, and thus the nucleus was delivered in this case. This is nice cleaning of This is the uh, irrigation of the anterior chamber and angle 
and the bag with BSA so that all the disco comes out. Taxi. This is a bit of moxie processing. Where is it? You know, sir? Subcon. Subcon. This is the final stage. A nice lavage of the interior chamber. and aspiration and irrigation for some time. Then we come to the wound, we lift the anterior wall of the wound and leave it. And now check if there is any leakage of fluid from the wound. There is no leakage. The wound margins are nicely opposed. Intercular pressure is fine. And now we're going to inject subconjunctival dexamethasone and gentamicin. And this conjunctiva will go forward and it will get attached to the limbus. is a releasable suture at the uh, right end of the peritone and this releasable suture can be removed after three, four days or at the next visit say after seven days. So here we conclude the case. Cut. 